Now let's turn to Ghana, which is selling the longest dated Eurobond ever issued by sub-Saharan African government. It has a 40-year maturity and is part of a wider sale, including notes maturing in 2035 and 2027 in order to raise $3 billion. To talk more about this, we're joined by Ken Ofori Atta, the Finance Minister of Ghana. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank you, morning. It's good to be here again. Yeah, great, here. great to have you here. Um, now, this offer, the Eurobond offer, was five times oversubscribed. Does this mean that that you're going to continue to test demand and issue even more longer-term securities. The last time you were here, we talked about a century bond. We did talk about a century bond, and last year we tried a 31, which was very successful. We've moved um, 10 years more to 41, so we are nearing it. Um, I think yesterday it was very successful, um, $3 billion in three tranches, 7, 14, and 41. Uh, and uh, we had a $15 billion book um, to, to work with. Um, so clearly the markets have rallied in support of Ghana uh, post IMF and that's good indications for the future for us. Mm. Minister, good morning to you. Good to have you with us this morning. Can I ask you the complexion of where most of the demand came from in that $15 billion book? We on the, on the seven year we had about $3.5 billion. On the 14 year um, about 5.6 and on the 41 year also um, beyond five billion. So really um, good showing on the long end of the bond. Yeah, I mean, this comes at a time as well when the premium investors have asked to hold riskier assets is rising, in part because of the fallout from the coronavirus. Um, do you foresee if um, we get any more um, of, of concerns around the coronavirus outbreak that this could impact you issuing more bonds or how you think about that? Well, we're not going to come back until next year, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we had those jitters and um, we clearly went through that. Um, I, I think clearly for Africa, the commodities issue will be impacted. I mean, coffee is down some 20 percent, copper is about um, 9 percent or so, um, and then, of course, crude oil is about 17 percent. Um, but clearly, the market was looking for a Ghana paper, confident in the future. Um, so we are quite comfortable um, that, at least for the continent, Minister, this is a paper to hold. Can I ask yes, you, uh, you've, you've just outlined some of the, the big commodities which are a tour de force in your, re in your income, and that's got issues around your debt to GDP. I mean, if we look at what the IMF, they warned against your debt to GDP at 63% at the end of 2019 against 59% a year earlier. Is that going to get worse, given the, the commodity outlook that we're facing at the moment? Can we expect this debt-to-GDP ratio to, to rise rather than fall this year? Actually, you know, what we have with the IMF um, uh, is that we have some two specific issues, uh, which is the financial sector restructuring, which we had to pay for, and then the energy sector restructuring. So if you net that out, uh, we were around 58% or so of debt to GDP. But the key to all of this is really the export boost that we are expecting. And this will be outside of commodity. If you look at our non-oil um, contribution, that's about 5.4% mm -hmm. growth uh, compared to, to the oil growth. Um, so we have a much more diversified uh, economy than most, and, and we expect to do that. As you know, the Continental Free Trade um, Act uh, headquarters is going to be in Ghana, which means we are really going to be the pass-through for investment and trade into the future. And we are banking on Ghana becoming a regional hub with regards to financial services, um, aviation and logistics, um, trade, etc. Mm. Um, so really for us, once we get through the rigid rigidities and debt reprofiling, uh, we are confident that with increase in revenue and export, exports in other areas, we should do very well. Mm. On the um, banking sector cleanup, um, which you mentioned, um, you know, those sort of costs risk surging to about three and a half billion dollars. That's the number right. that we've put out there. Um, do you see this escalating further? And if it does, are you going to issue more bonds to cover um, those new guarantees for depositors? I, it was total in Ghanaian CDs about 16.8 billion. Mm. We've already done about 12.6 um, billion, uh, leaving maybe about a billion um, dollars um, in change, um, which we should be able to support um, so that we take care of all the other depositors. Uh, but I think so far uh, we have held and, and we should be able to manage that. Yeah. 
Uh, there were plans, Minister, to IPO the Gold Mining Royalty Fund, and I think the last time we wrote about it, it was delayed until March. Can you clarify for us, will it happen in March? Is it postponed indefinitely? What guidance can, can you give us? Oh, I, I think we've made um, considerable progress and we'll have some more meetings um, this um, before I leave um, tomorrow. Um, but we are confident and we are targeting March for the IPO, um, $750 million, which will further go to strengthen um, our foreign exchange reserves and also diversify the economy into a more modern economy and take advantage uh, of our branding as the, the largest um, gold exporter on the continent at this point. Can I come back to the 58% um, debt to GDP ratio that you mentioned as well? Is that a level that you're now comfortable with or do you want to bring that down even further and how do you plan to do so and where's the floor for you? Right. No, we look to bring that down at 58%. Currently, our domestic uh, revenue mobilization, uh, it's where we need to concentrate. We've changed the whole um, executives of the Ghana Revenue Authority and these last three months through December, was phenomenal results. Um, Ghana currently is about 12.5% um, revenue to GDP uh, compared to our peers who are about 18%. So clearly you can see this gap of 6% that we need to bridge. Um, we are just about completing our national um, identification drive, which means that we'll all be on a database. And that um, expectation is that the tax base will be broadened and we should be able to get the 6%. An increase in 6% will be another 22 billion, uh, which really um, moves towards being able to support our infrastructure drive and therefore relying less on debt.